Alright, what is going on guys, Alistair here from Abandoned and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Today we are going to be exploring an abandoned school in Southport. As you can see behind me there's a, a blackboard so you can tell it's a school, this is probably going to be a classroom. Um, so we're going to start in here and we're going to explore all of this, it's a massive building, there's some really cool things in here like a swimming pool, um, a gym and then obviously all the classrooms and stuff and there's a massive building with like a turret over there that we're going to try and get into and explore. So yeah, if you like this video, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Built in 1904, this school has been here for over a century. It was originally used as a boys boarding school but was taken over by the Liverpool School for the Deaf in 1948. After functioning as a deaf school for over 50 years, it finally closed in 2003 and has been empty ever since. So as I said, we're starting off in a classroom. You can see by the blackboard that this was a classroom. I don't know if you can see any um, work or anything on the board because mainly people have just come here and just wrote their own names on it and graffitied it. But yeah, let's keep going. Now we're going to come out into this really long corridor with, um, you can see there's like things on the walls where there'd be work but it seems like all of it's been tucked down. See that nature's trying to come in in this room and just a, another classroom with the leaves coming through these um, barriers they've tried to put up but seems like they've failed. These plug sockets on the wall that they've just been completely wrecked by someone or either just by decay. This door's just been ripped off its hinges. Now, a few years ago, there was a big fire in this um, area of the school, and you can see here that the fire's just burned out all of the um, the roof, and it's just come crashing down on the floor. There's more rubble and stuff down there. Now, I entered the um, the bathrooms. I'm pretty sure this is the boys, obviously because there's a rhino, but they've um, coloured the walls blue. Pretty sure this was just done by vandals as well, but all the sinks have just been completely destroyed, which sucks because um, they seem like be quite a nice order and probably work well for a photograph big holes in the floor all the way along this corridor so I need to watch where I'm stepping. You see in this part of the school the fire has really destroyed it. It's just completely messed up. Seven years after it became abandoned a fire broke out in the early hours of the morning at Birkdale School for the Deaf and authorities were called. Around 2.20 a.m. in the morning police had evacuated all nearby houses. Firefighters were at the school for almost a day putting out the fire that had grown huge over the night. Once the fire had successfully been put out, investigators were called to look into the arson attack. There's some desks in this room over here. The way that there's a thing on the wall that talks about vaults, I'm pretty sure this might be a DT classroom. This looks like a wooden desk here that's just been completely burnt away by the fire and all that's left is the wiring. This is really dodgy. Whew. You can get a better view of the main building here on the tennis courts because the um, the window's just been completely took out. Alright, so we've now explored all of that corridor and we're going to have a look around over here. And it looks like we found the gym. Okay, so as you can see by the basketball nets and the um, climbing equipment here, this is going to be the gym of the school this is where they do like the sports and p activities and stuff and it looks like because i think this is a stage this is where they just do drama the basketball um rings without any netting the graffiti and the nature coming through the um top windows of this gym makes it look really cool tom what are you doing we're start there's some pages from a book here that's been took by the fire we're not on the stage and you can see here there's all the um equipment probably for the lighting and stuff it's pretty cool that it's all still here and not like completely destroyed. This room here has just got all of the wiring from whatever it is. <laughs> Shut up. Now, I'm not too sure what this is for, but it's quite cool. I'm pretty sure that those drawings of those people aren't graffiti and that was actually there originally. It looks like some like mini puppet show thing or something, but I don't really know why it's in the school. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> quite a nice contrast of the peach walls and the orange frames in this hallway and the support beams just coming down from the ceiling as they also are in this room so I need to mind my head you can see them but there are houses just there so we're trying to keep it down as much as possible nature's really took over this room there's so much foliage it'd be quite easy to hide
see the paints really peeling off these peach walls showing the um brick background i think but it looks like it's been painted over you can see the curtains been ripped down from this window probably by vandals people have left their um instagrams and stuff in here so follow them up yeah if you're watching this video and you're one of those people leave a comment there's a really long board here where i'm pretty sure students would put their good work up opposite this wall that's just been completely shredded and it's just wrecked we've um covered the gym and probably about half of this place now we're gonna go down this pretty creepy underground tunnel into the other bit and hopefully try and find the swimming pool stairs here that just <coughs> don't lead anywhere <laughs> we're just coming out of this part of the school as you can see um that's the gym and then the rest of the school with the long corridors over there we're at the side of the um huge castle looking building and um, there originally was a fire here about two years ago some of it was over there in that building but most of it was here and they had to put it out and then they just demolished this building because it was so unsafe so this part of it is just complete rubble and just, there's just bricks everywhere and stuff where? Kind of oh yeah so um, Tom just pointed out that these are school lockers I call the way that they're red as well which is um going to be good for a photo because they're going to stand out Wow We've um, found the swimming pool and it is really cool the way that there's so much graffiti on it um, I think it would be cool if there was still like some residents of like stuff that would happen on the side of the pool but there's not but it's definitely very good and really cool for this video at most swimming pools it gets um, deeper as you go down just uh, there you can see that it gets much deeper here than just here and this bit's really shallow the steps leading down to the swimming pool I wonder if there was um, also any like ladders coming down but if there was they've all been tucked down now and they're not there just looking at the um, last bit that we can access before the main building which we don't think we can get in we've looked for a while and it doesn't look like we can get in but yeah this is quite cool with the um, pink wall there's so many coloured walls in this place there's like the orange ones um, in the building over there and I've seen blue at the gym had like green uh, frames and this bit is definitely the bit of the like, older bit. You can see there'd be stairs going up there because of that um, beam coming across there. And I think these are the stairs um, and these here. And they've, I don't know what's, what they're doing over there, but the stairs are just completely destroyed. Um, you can see them coming up here. And I don't really think that we're going to be going up there because we don't really want to die. So. so although it's completely destroyed, I think this is some sort of shower area because you can see these little steps coming up here and the... Um, small things on the wall i'm pretty sure where the jets of water would come out and finally there's those two um very rotting things over there but i'm pretty sure they're hair dryers so i mean hand dryers so the guys just told me that they um found something pretty weird in this room here or well, this little extra building on the um edge of the uh, site so yeah, this does look pretty creepy it's got some columns on the floor i'm not really sure what they were for maybe just for decorations and stuff but there's quite a lot of them Right, so I think this is the bit that we're on about. There's these chairs set up almost as if there was a um, like a meeting going on, and then it looks as if they've set a fire there on this chair. So I don't really know what this is. Whatever this is, it's completely destroyed, like definitely by some vandals. We just like stumbled across this. If you put your um, finger on it, it is new. So obviously, I think it's blood. <laughs> I don't think it's blood, but I'm pretty sure it's paint. And the way that you can actually touch it. That's pretty dodgy, so that looks like it's been done quite recently. So we're going to have a look at the um, the main building now, and then we're going to get out of here. See, but on the actual clock on the tower, there's some bushes that have started to grow. That's how um, long it's been there. That's pretty interesting. There is actually a tiny gap that you can see inside the um, main building, but as you can see, it's pretty destroyed, so we're not going to risk going in there because um, apparently it's not very interesting. So I'm actually going to end off the video here guys. We've explored most of the um, building. Unfortunately not this bit but 
we didn't really want to anyway. Apparently, it's not very interesting inside, so we're just going to leave it. The um, the main, more interesting part about this place is just here and the um, the gym and the uh, astroturf and the actual classroom bits with the blackboards and stuff. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like. I'll leave a link to the report I do um, in the description if you want to have a look at that. I'll just put some pictures on there and some history of the place and more in depth on there with um, more of the dates if you're interested in that sort of stuff. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Shit! Oh, my God.